Rebuilding Your Self-Worth, Chapter 6. This chapter's motto is, The Road to Recovery is reached by inhaling the positive and exhaling the negative. Inhaling the positive and exhaling the negative. Now please repeat the motto. The road to recovery is reached by inhaling the positive and exhaling the negative. Very good. Now take a deep breath and visualize the air filling your lungs. You're taking in positive energy from the universe. Oh, nope. Nope. I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna ruin my day. Very good. Now, exhale. Visualize your breath as all the negative energy in your life. Let's see what Prince Charming has to say. Hey, Sarah, it's Trent. Um, I noticed you didn't say goodbye to me at the end of the trial. Why would I? And your supposed divorce attorney wouldn't tell me where you were moving. Um, I really don't care. I just want to know where to send your junk. Good. That's good. Ashley wants to you know, redecorate our bedroom. Oh, I bet she does. Oh. Anyway, good luck. And, uh, arrivederci. Arrivederci. Great. Great. She's redecorating my bedroom. What is she? 15? She doesn't have a decoration. She's going to use princess sheets or something. Oh. Sweet home. Oh my god. Oh my god, was that a kid? No, 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 no. Please be okay. Little boy? I'm so shocked. Okay. I didn't hit him. Fine. Oh, oh sorry, dear. Didn't mean to scare you. Are uh, you Miss Campbell? <clears throat> yeah. Um, sorry, Sarah. You must be Mrs. Park. In the flesh. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. Do I? Um. Well, I almost hit this kid coming in, and well, that wouldn't be the best way to make friends around here. Well. The good news is, there aren't any kids living in the complex. One of the perks of renting here, if you ask me. What the hell was that? Some weird toy that little boy dropped. I'd like to return it to him. Do you know if there's any kids visiting the complex? A grandson or a nephew? Not that I know of. Mrs. Stubbs would know. She's the nosy one. Now, how about I show you the apartment? Sounds good. This is the living room, new coat of paint. Almost new tiles. That's the kitchen, obviously. Ah, this is the bedroom. New coat of paint on the walls. Carpet's been steam cleaned. They do a nice job, they really do. Oh yes, nice view. Yeah, let's see the rest of the place, yeah. There's the bathroom right there. That should do it. Ah. And here's your copy of the lease. Okay, thank It's you. official. You are now an independent woman. Good luck. <laughs> thank you. My nephew Tommy's going to come up here to help you move in. I'm warning you now, though. He's one gigantic hormone. <laughs> Call me if you have any problems he can't handle. My number's on the lease. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks. Hey, Vicky, perfect timing. Hey, you there yet? Yep, I just signed the lease. So, how is it? Well, it's all right, sort of. Well, I was kind of hoping for more color and less dirt, but hey, you get what you pay for, right? I told you to push. I know, push for more money in the divorce. I know, I know. I'm just saying. I know, and I'm saying you were right. I was just over it. Yeah, I know. I know you're going through a rough time. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. It's kind of been a bit of a stressful day. Typical me, the first thing I do is almost run over some kid when I get here. What? Is he okay? Yeah, I, I think he's fine. 
honestly, I don't know. He ran off before I could check on him. Can you blame him? I mean, some psycho lady's trying to run him over with her car. I know, so if you don't hear from me in a few days, it means I'm probably in jail for smushing some kid. Hey, I gotta go. I have a lot I have to get done before it gets dark out. Okay. I know you're going through a really rough time, but um, I'm really excited you're painting again. I am too. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later, okay? Bye. All right, bye. Hello? Hello? Somebody here? I have pepper spray and I'm not afraid to use it. Hi. <laughs> Spread. Okay, oh, I, I saw it on TV. I don't have milk. We need a plan. Oh, of course you don't. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. What else can I do for you? Oh, just give me something to rub my eyes with. I don't um, care. Here, this should work. There you go. <coughs> oh. Better? No, not really, but you know, I know it kind of. What are you doing? I'm fast blinking. It's supposed to make you tear up. Uh, Look, I'm really sorry uh, about that, but you scared the crap uh, out of me. Oh, I'm used to it. The whole, like, scaring tenants thing. Not the pepper spray thing. That, that is a new one. Well, I'm Sarah Campbell. Hey, Tommy. Kind of nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <coughs> oh. Hey, I can almost see you. Oh. Hey, you're kind of hot. Mm, thank you. <laughs> this is the part where you offer to kiss my eyes and make them feel better? What? Nothing. Um... My aunt, she said that you need some help moving some stuff in. Yeah, yeah, I have a trailer downstairs. <coughs> All right, let's get you moved in then. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's do this. <sighs> Rebuilding your self worth with Morgan Stevens? I've seen this guy on TV, he's a tool. No, he's not. I like him. Just because you like him doesn't mean he's not a tool. Well, he helps me pass the time away when I drive. You listen to him in the car? It was a long drive. So the whole not recommended to practice while driving label didn't deter you, huh? It doesn't say that. Oh. It does say that. Why would it say that? Oops. So you're, um... You're having some self-esteem issues, huh? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. Let's just say that my ex-husband was really good at making me feel completely worthless. Because he's a tool, too. <laughs> I don't know. I, re I refer to guys like that as douches. Oh, yeah? What's the difference? Well, a tool's guy that isn't all that bad. He's just maybe a little too loud and obnoxious. Ah, oh, like you. No? I'm charming. Whereas tools are not charming at all. They're like, hey, baby. What's it like being in my presence? Because I'm so cool. Yeah, that's definitely not you. So what's a douche? Oh, well, douche is more like a guy that would say, you're worthless, woman. Get in the kitchen where you belong. Yep, yeah, that sums up my ex-husband. See? So what would you call the 19-year-old girl he got pregnant? I, I don't know. I guess that would depend on how hot she is. Oh, but <sighs> there's no way she is as hot as you. Yeah, nice save. Quit staring at my butt. What? It's not like I can see anything anyway. My eyes are still adjusting from the pepper spray. What if there's long-term damage? I could have glaucoma. That's everything, right? I have to do it. Uh, thank you so much for your help. What do I owe you? Oh, you're crazy. I don't want your money. No, no, I have to give you something. All right, I'll take a kiss. <laughs> no. How about a hug? Really? A hug? Chapter 7 says reach out and touch someone. Okay. 
Come on. There you go. Nice little hug. It's not so bad. Well, thanks again. Yeah, it was my pleasure. You need anything else before I go? A massage, perhaps? Uh, no. I'll be fine. I'm gonna hop in the shower and go to bed. It's been a really long day. All right. Uh, well, if, if you do get scared being here alone, I'd be more than happy to keep you company. Especially in the shower. It saves water. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Um, good night. See ya. Bye. It's time to get rid of you. Hello? Hi, um, I'm Sarah Campbell. I, uh, I, I mean, I guess you're, uh, you're selling magazine subscriptions. No. Oh, oh okay, okay. Um, a little too old to be selling Girl Scout cookies, no offense. Um, I'm your new neighbor. I just moved into apartment four yeah. next door. Ah, so you're the one making all that ruckus over there, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bruce Middlebrooks, how are you? Nice to meet you. So Parks finally rented out that unit, huh? I mean, that girl skipped town some time ago. She was kind of a weirdo slash troublemaker, you know? You're not a weirdo slash troublemaker, are you? Oh, me? No. I actually kind of consider myself a pretty boring person. Well, I don't know about boring, but I can definitely see the pretty part. Well, I appreciate that. So, you're not here to sell Girl Scout cookies. What can I do you for? Um, I was wondering if you had any kids visiting. It's a strange question. Uh, no? No kids visiting? Why? Well, this is kind of embarrassing, but I almost ran over a kid the other day. And so he dropped this, and I was wanting to return it to him. Apologize. Where did you get that? Well, yeah, I mean, he had it in his hand before he dropped it, so I found it under my car. Did you get a good look at him? I mean, uh... Yeah, pretty good. What, what do you look like, you? Sandy hair? Yeah. About, uh, five, six years old? Yeah, do you know him? <clears throat> Anything else about him stand out to you? His stare. I can't get it out of my head. I mean, I don't know, maybe he was scared, but he had this, like, blank, 
loneliness that he needed something. <clears throat> yeah, look, look, I'm sorry. You got me at a really bad time. I'm right in the middle of something. I, I got to run. But uh, welcome to the neighborhood, really. Thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to meet you, too. with those. Oh, you must be Mrs. Stubbs. Yes, how did you know? Well, Mrs. Parks told me to look out for you. I'm Sarah Campbell. I just moved in. Oh, um, Mrs. Parks said you might know if there's any kids visiting the complex. I wanted to return this toy to them. What are you doing? Give those back to me. I was just trying to help. I didn't ask for any help, did I? Next time, mind your own business. Helping people only leads to misery. Well, I don't think so. I don't care what you think. What's up, Sarah? I was just uh, doing a little uh, wee fit. You, do you want to join me? Oh, I'm sorry. What did I do? What did I do? Why is everyone here so unfriendly? Did you pepper spray them? That seems to be a pretty good icebreaker. Look what it did for us. <laughs> Look, don't sweat Miss Stubbs, all right? She's been a crazy old bitch since the 20s. Who else was mean to you? I will punch them right in the mouth. That guy up in five. Mr. Middlebrooks? Except for him. I'm pretty sure he's like ex-CIA or something. Really? Yeah, that or a serial killer. He was such a nice, quiet young man. I never thought he would do such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it ridiculous when people say that? I'd totally be like, yes, I said he was crazy all along and nobody would listen to me. <laughs> Seriously? What the hell did you do? Mm -hmm. I knew you were a little bit nutty, but are you punching walls? No, I, I broke my bathroom mirror with my hand. What? You know that's like seven years of my aunt hating you, right? She's gonna be pissed. Really? I mean, I'll pay to fix it. No, I'll take care of it. Thanks. Yep, that's what I do. Besides, uh, any excuse to hang out with you is a good one. Well, good, because I'm gonna need your help with something. Oh, that could seriously be the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that seems to be the general consensus. Um, to be honest, the thing kind of creeps me out, too, but I gotta find the kid it belongs to. There aren't any kids here. I keep hearing that, but I swear I almost hit this kid the other day. <laughs> you pepper spray me. You cut your hand breaking your bathroom mirror, and you almost run over a kid? You have a bit of a dark side. I promise, I don't. Well, at least the thing has good timing. Are you sure this is a kid's toy? It's all like, bleh, and creepy. I saw him holding it. Uh -huh. Hey, get that thing out of the way, you morons! Nice to see you too, Mr. Snyder. I'm just glad he called me a moron too, right? Like. I had something to do with your terrible parking job. I'll go move it right now. I need to go to town anyways, so I'm heading to the art store. Do you need anything? From the art store? Um, yes, I do actually. A uh, couple of nude models, preferably attractive and... Yeah, I met while I was out. Oh, um, couple of nude models and... Goodbye. <laughs> See you later. Dude, you are creepy. See ya.
I need a drink. Sorry. You think this is funny? I don't appreciate you sneaking around my apartment while I'm gone. What are you talking about? This. Look, if you weren't going to help me in the first place, you shouldn't have taken it at all. I, I didn't. Look, I put it... What the hell? Sarah, I promise you I put it right over there, okay? And I would never sneak into your place without permission. I obviously can't trust anyone in my life right now, so just take this and shove it up your... My ass? Yes. Ugh. Thanks a lot, dude. Sarah, you sound horrible. Everything all right? Oh, yeah, I kind of had a rough night. What time is it? It's almost noon. No way. I haven't slept this late in years. Oh, you've been a busy girl. The paintings you've been working on? Absolutely stunning. Really? <laughs> really. And I have a showing next week, and I was able to squeeze you in. It's a little bit soon, isn't it? I know it's last minute. But it's a great opportunity, and I've already started putting everything together. Oh. That sounds great. I'm really glad you like them. Sarah, I love them. It is so nice to have you back. I'll see you next Friday. See you then. Bye. Bye. I, I, I'm really sorry. I almost hit you the other day. I, I, I sh should have been paying more attention. What are you doing? Stay back. Stay away. I have pepper spray. What do you want? So let me get this straight. You think you're being haunted by the ghost of a little kid that you almost ran over the other day. The same ghost kid that broke your glasses and broke your mirror. And now you're apologizing to me for wigging out, but it's because you're being haunted by this ghost kid. Yes. Man, I have heard some of the lamest apologies in my life. Most of them coming out of my mouth. But this one, this one is the lamest. Come on, give me a break. Do you think I'm making this up? Do you think I would cut my own face just so I don't have to admit that I was wrong? It does kind of explain how the doll got back into your apartment. I know, it sounds crazy. I was just, I was just hoping that maybe you could help me out. Well, how can I help? I don't know anything about ghosts. Wait, I do know one thing actually. You can't pepper spray them. Well, I thought you would be a pro with all these horror movies you have around here. 
They're just movies. Besides, ghost stories scare the piss out of me. I'm doing everything in my power not to piss my pants right now. <laughs> Wait, so you can't even watch a ghost movie because it scares you and you think I'm ridiculous? Mm -mm. Let's be clear. I said ghost stories, not ghost movies. Most ghost movies suck, except for, I don't know, pretty much Ghostbusters. Other than that, I just buy movies that are good. I like this one. Zombie, 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 strippers versus zombies. Is this part of your porn collection or something? No. How dare you judge? This is a fine piece of cinema way ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. Okay, bad example. <laughs> so are you not gonna help me then? Now hold on. How can I possibly say no to a hot chick that just needs my help getting rid of some lame little kid ghost that likes to break glass? Whoa! Whoa! What's this? Get it cut! Get it cut! Okay, how many were there? There's five! Alright. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get, get that one! Get that one! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! That one's flopping over there! Get him! Get him! That one's not moving! It's not moving! Pick it up! Hurry up! Quick! Hurry! Hurry! He's good. He's good. Where's Archimedes? Where's Archimedes? Oh. There, there he is. Oopsie. O oopsie. <laughs> Archimedes. You were a good fish. You never complained. You never bullied any of the other fish, and... You certainly did not deserve to die the way you did. Goodbye, my friend. And... Feel free to haunt her for not looking where she stepped. Thanks. As if I don't have enough problems already, I'm gonna have a ghost fish haunting me. <sighs> well... As bad as your night's been, you still have no problem giving me a hard time. It's like you're immune to your depression when I'm around. You're right. Weird. So, I had this moment of clarity before the fish tank exploded all over my junk. In several ghost movies, there's like a scene where the haunted will go to a psychic or a priest to, you know, get assistance getting rid of the hauntee. Oh yeah? Which one should I go to? Well, that depends on if you want to read a book with a bunch of cryptic writing and creepy drawings, or if you want to puke pea soup. Hmm, I think I'll have to go with the first one. So if you don't watch ghost movies, how do you know so much about them? Nashville Psychics Search. I said I don't own any. I never said I didn't watch any. I went through a phase where I watched several, but I don't like them at all. Why is that? Because they never end well. I mean, a ghost isn't a physical being. You can't get rid of him. You know, a zombie, shot to the head. Uh, werewolf, silver bullet. Vampires, stake through the heart. Or sunlight, unless you buy all that sunlight makes you sparkle like diamond stuff. <laughs> but ghosts, nothing. So you're pretty much saying I'm screwed then? If this were a movie, yes, but it's real life, so... I mean, there's a really good chance you're just a crazy person with crappy glass in your house. Hey, check this out. This psychic shop's only a few miles from here. Well, there is the address. And... Have fun. Wait, you're not coming with me? No way, man! Those places creep me out. Besides, I get to stay here and pick up fish crap and water. Yeah, sorry about that one. Yeah, I bet you are. Well, thanks for your help. You're very welcome. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Hello? Can I help you? I hope so. Hello? Yes, 
see you looking at the incense there. Yes, it's uh, it's burned for different reasons. That's the smell of lavender and sage. It's very strong. Yes, well, yeah. the lavender here is to soothe the soul. Yes, and uh, and the sage is to uh, to get rid of your negative energies or spirits. Ah, that's why you're here. Yes. You're having a ghost problem. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Ah, yes, well, I, I think I can help you with that. Um, now, what kind of spirit do you have? I don't know. Oh, is it is it a solid, a transparent? Is it an odd fog that you see? A face in the fog? No. Uh, or perhaps it's a, a sound, a smell, or a or a feeling. No, it's this little boy. He's in my apartment. Oh, and it's a solid. Now, uh, does he try and communicate with you? No, he just stares at me. Well, today he came after me, but I ran from him. Interesting, yes. Um, let's see here. I don't think it's a poltergeist. But what you're experiencing is, yes, an apparition. So you've absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, no? No. Um, an apparition is, it's like a, it's a fingerprint of energy. Sort of in a, in, a, in a constant cycle. Oh, great. So he's going to continue to scare the hell out of me. Mm. Look, I, I just want him to leave me alone. Right, well, um, well, in that case, you need this kit, which will, will help you ward him off. In here, it's all very technical, but uh, we have some incense, uh, this bell, and that will clear the air, and an incense stand. An incense stand. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll throw in these stones. Give me a hand. Now these will help to um, ward off your negative spirits and uh, bring good energy into your life. Thank you. What are those? Crystal stones to ward off evil spirits. What else you get in here? Lavender, sage, and the seats. For a hundred and two forty-five? Do you at least buy you dinner before screwing you? Come on, this was your idea. Yeah, it wasn't my idea to buy the entire store. Made in China. Is it a Chinese ghost? Ow! Come on, this is serious. Right, it's, it's very serious. What do we do first? All right, first... I have to put these stones in a circle. They each represent something different. Yeah. That one's strawberry. That one's lemon lime and... Oh, this one's my favorite, watermelon. Oh, come on. on. Let's just get this over with. I'm embarrassed enough as it is. Yeah. Hey, I, I like your paintings, by the way. Thank you. What is that? I don't know. It's something I've been dreaming about. Looks familiar. It's weird. Uh, where were we? All right, next I ring this bell seven times. That's it? I think so. What was that? I don't know. It's coming from the bedroom. You should go check it out. I'll stay here. Come on. Oh. <sighs> Middlebrook's better not be punching holes in the wall. He's gonna lose his deposit. It is Mr. Middlebrooks. What's he doing? He has a suitcase and this like big black bag. Oh, really? Creepy, do you think it's a body? You think it is? No, <laughs> he's always carrying around stuff like that. He always goes on retreats. I constantly have to keep an eye on his place and pick up his mail. Isn't that weird? It's about as weird as a girl asking me to do a seance in her kitchen to get rid of a ghost. Whatever. 
So is this all we need to do to get rid of your little friend? I think so. Hello? Are there any ghosts in here? If you're here, give us a sign. Lift up Sarah's shirt. You're ridiculous. Wait for it. And you're still clothed. But hey, problem solved. Let's celebrate the little chapter seven, make physical contact. Ow. What's wrong with you? I don't like this hitting habit you're picking up. Well then quit acting like a tool all the time. <sighs> Touche. Seriously though, I can, I can crash on the futon if it'll make you feel better. No, I'll be fine. I mean, I want to know that he's really gone, you know? And if you're here, then he probably won't show up. Okay, so let me get this straight. I have to leave because if I stay here, he definitely won't show up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, did I mention I like your paintings, by the way? Thanks. Hey, you know, I have an art show next Friday. You can come if you can act like a normal human being. Oh, I don't know if I can do that, but we'll see. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you again for all your help. My crazy adventures. <laughs> yeah, adventures. That's putting it mildly. <laughs> Are you ready for Friday? Sure. I woke you up, didn't I? It's okay, what's up? I'm sending you your surprise. You should be getting it this afternoon. No, I'm a little worried. Don't be. What is it? Let's just say it's something that's gonna uh, help me get your work sold. Is it a dress? Yes, and it's damn sexy too. I need you to look beautiful during the show and your wardrobe's just way too conservative. Is it? Yes. All right, I'll see you on Friday. Ciao. Ciao. Morning, Pookie. Oh, oh my God. Uh, <clears throat> please don't do that. Were you standing outside my window earlier? No. Huh, that's weird. I saw a shadow. I thought maybe it was Mr. Middlebrooks. No, he's still out of town. Hmm. Well, maybe it was a cloud or something. Ooh, or maybe it was your little ghost friend. Nope. You know, ever since I got that incense and the candles, I haven't had any issues for a couple days now. Not even a bad dream. Awesome. All right. Well, I got, I got some work to do, okay? I'll, uh, let me know if you need anything. All right, thanks. See you later. Bye.
Hey. <sighs> Sorry to wake you. Oh, oh man. <sighs> you must have been having a hell of a dream there. I could hear you all the way up in my apartment. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty rough. Mm. Thanks for your help. Yeah, it was the least I could do. After my behavior the other day, look, I'm... I'm really sorry I was in a, in a weird place. Got reminded of something I thought was long behind me. And I am so sorry about that. I mean, that was a complete misunderstanding. You know, I think you should uh, probably get out of the sun. Yeah, yeah, I should probably head upstairs, huh? Come on, I'll walk up with you. Oh, no, that's not necessary. I was heading back to my apartment, if that's OK. Oh, well, then please, by all means, after you. So, did you ever find your little friend? What? Oh, that. Yeah, that was a weird situation. Weird situation. It's kind of a long story, but it's over and it's done and everything's fine now. Well, did you ever give him his toy back? Can we change the subject, please? Hey, you're the one that came knocking on my door, remember? The reason why I'm interested is because I deal with kids every day. Oh, really? What do you do? I'm a teacher. I didn't know that about you. What age? Grade school kids that uh, need a little extra help. Really? Like handicapped? No, no, no. Uh, kids with emotional issues. Most of them have uh, been abused or had some type of trauma in their life. Wow. Well, that's very admirable of you. What got you into that? I had some issues when I was a child, but fortunately I had somebody help me through it, so this is kind of my way of paying back. It must be tough, huh? Yeah, sometimes it can be really tough, but I love it. And I have a secret one. Oh, yeah? What's that? Journaling. Huh. You ever try it? No. It can be very therapeutic. I have all my kids do it. In fact, I just about filled this thing cover to cover on my last camping trip. Ah, so you're skipping school on them, huh? <laughs> no, summer vacation. Oh, well, that explains a lot. What do you mean? I mean, I've just been seeing you around here a lot lately. You know, it, it'd be nice to be friends. Well, thanks for walking me back, Bruce. Right. If you need me, uh, you know where I am. OK. See you soon. Yeah. Hello? You've got to be kidding me. Do you love it? Well, it's beautiful, but it's not me at all. It is you. It's the you that's gonna sell the hell out of those paintings and show everyone that ever doubted you that they have no idea what the heck they're talking about. And by they, I mean Trent. Trent? Do you really think he's gonna be there? I think you already know the answer to that. Yeah, I know. I don't want him to be there. He's probably gonna bring that little girlfriend of his, too. Who cares? You're gonna look hot, and everyone's gonna love your stuff. Hey, that needs to be higher than that. Hey, hon, I gotta go, all right? Kisses. I swear I'm gonna kick your ass if you break that thing.
Hey, sir. Hey, 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 what's wrong? He's back. He came back again. Where are you going? I'm getting out of here. Why? Who would stay in a haunted apartment? Would you? I'm coming with you. Where to? I don't care. Just get me out of here. Do you want to watch TV? No. You want to raid the mini fridge? No. You want to read the Bible? No. I'm going to take a shower. Alone. <sighs> what? I didn't even say anything. Yeah, but you were thinking that. Maybe. Um, I'm actually pretty hungry. Um, do you want anything? Tacos. Wow, I have never in my life heard a woman make up her mind on what she wanted to eat so quickly. Do you have a comment for everything? Um, tacos it is. Sarah? Sarah! Sarah! I almost got it. Oh. Oh. I should probably just take you to the hospital. No. I'm fine. I mean... What would I say when I get there? That a ghost is trying to kill me? Well, I fell in the shower. It would probably be a lot easier. <sighs> you know what sucks? You mean besides having shards of glass stuck in your skin? Yeah. How did you get one under here? Oh. If he was only haunting the apartment, why would he have followed me here? Does that mean he's after me? What did I do? Maybe he's just a jerk. I'm gonna have to go back to that psychic in the morning before my show. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. You should totally get a refund for your dumb ghost kit. Ah! Whoa! Ow. Look at the size of that one. I think that's the last one. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. You are going to the other bed, right? Absolutely. Let me just see here. This. This here. I'm, I'm tempted to call it a rock. 
it's not. Um, one thing's for sure, they do give off an energy if you just want to put your don't touch it. Hey man, uh, you sold her a crappy ghost kit made in China, and uh, guess what? We're here for a refund. Yeah. Yes, I see. Um, uh, will you excuse me for a moment? Yeah, follow me. You'll need to pay for that. Would you like some tea, young man? No way. So, it attacked you outside of your home? Mm hmm It was getting so bad there that we had to go to a hotel and he must have followed us there. Um, it's a little child, you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, th I think your ghost issue really is a ghost issue. Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Now, why don't you do us all a favour and have some tea? And calm you down. Now, originally I thought it was an apparition, but they tend to stay in one place. If it followed you around, then I think your problem is a ghost. And it's following you because you're his connection. A connection? A connection to what? Well, he needs your help to cross over to the other side. Why? I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, do you remember if he had any wounds at all? Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe he's been murdered and needs to bring his killer to justice. Yeah, but why mess with her? Why wouldn't he just screw with the killer? Well, if you're afraid of something in this world, then you'll be afraid of it in the next. So you think that's what it is? Think I need to find his killer? I, I don't know, but, you know, if you don't do it soon, then, you know, he's just going to get more frustrating. He almost killed her. How much more frustrated could he get? A lot more. Sarah, the next time you see him, you must communicate with him. You must ask him what he wants. So what do I do? I, I see this ghost and I just... I go ask him? Yes. It's the only way he'll find peace and be able to cross over to the other side. Thank you. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Raimi Gallery Women in Art Showcase. <laughs> very proud that our featured artist is here with us tonight. When I first started my career in art, I was fortunate to meet this very talented artist. Her works are like a breath of fresh air amongst the stench of the garbage people pass off as art. And I've seen a lot of garbage. But I digress. It is my pleasure to present to you for the first time in seven years, the very talented and amazing Miss Sarah Campbell. Yeah. 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 My, my bad, my bad. <laughs> that was me, sorry. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I am very excited about this collection and I am thrilled to be sharing it with you. So please enjoy yourself. Yeah. Wow, you look amazing. You always, you always look good, but you look really amazing. She better look good. I got her that dress. And cheers to both of you for showing up on time. Cheers to that. So, um, a breath of fresh air amongst the garbage, really? You like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a little much, but, uh, um, so how's the show going? Phenomenal. You should be proud of yourself. I am. Seems like everyone's enjoying themselves. Somebody spilled a paint can on that one. <laughs> nice. Everybody except that douche over there. <laughs> Where? Oh, my God. What? Oh, it's Trent. Who's Trent? The ex. You know, he looks like a Trent. Is that the, yeah, the 19-year-old girl he knocked up? Mm-hmm. She is hot. Uh, Ow. I can't talk to him. What am I going to do? I'm going to be sick. All right, oh. bathroom, stat. Hold the fort down, Casanova. Okay. Do you want me to come in and help you out? No, no I'll be fine. I'm just going to compose myself a little bit. All right, I'll be out here if you need me.
want you to help me. Will you help me? Yes. You okay now? Great. Um, I need a drink. Okay. You thirsty? Sarah, how are you? I thought I saw you here. Why wouldn't she be here? It's her show, asshole. Ah, uh, Vicky. Oh, it's so sweet to see you always. This is Ashley. Hi. <laughs> Cheers to the new show, Sierra. It's really neat. That's a lovely ring you have on, by the way. What? I probably should have mentioned that when we walked in You're earlier. You're engaged? Trip proposed on our year anniversary. <laughs> wow. We haven't been apart for four months. <clears throat> Jeez, man, you didn't even let the body get cold, huh? <laughs> Watch it, sports. Stay out of it. You okay, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, pardon me. I'm going to go to the potty. Okay. It was nice meeting you. Oh, God bless her. Sarah, I can explain. You're unbelievable, Trent. Don't make a scene, please. All I did was I came out here to show my support for your work. You can leave now, please. You know, I can, but I just was dying to see what you told me I kept you from. But it looks like I did the world a favor for seven years. You're with this douchebag for seven years? You know what, the two of you, all you're doing is embarrassing yourselves now. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take a moment and congratulate Sarah the Psycho and her bitter entourage. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Just, uh, just let me get my feet. I'm all right. I'm all right. Is, is that my, my blood? I'm still kind of in shock. Yeah, I mean, I think we're all in a little bit of shock. I can't help but think that what happened to Trent, that it was my fault. <laughs> no, you can't blame yourself, all right? I mean, it was a freak accident, all right? I don't think it was an accident. Right after that thing fell on Trent, um, I looked up and I saw him. What, you mean like little friend him? Mm -hmm. Really? Well, you think he was aiming for you? No, I think he was trying to help me. Why would he go from hurting you to helping you? After our little run-in in the bathroom, told me that he needed my help. And then he grabbed my hand. And his hand was, was like ice. It was ice cold. And, okay. and I just... What did he need help doing? He needs me to find his killer and find his body. How? I don't know. Look, I'm really tired. I probably should just go to bed. Yeah, I hear you. Hanging out with you's been exhausting. <laughs> um, thanks for everything tonight. Um, thanks for letting me wear your jacket home. No problem. You think it's gonna be safe in there? Yeah, it'll be fine. You think it's safer with me next to you? <laughs> no, I'll be fine. Good night. Good night.
look, I... I want to help you. I just... I need you to help me. I need you to give me a hint or something. That's it? That's your big clue, Bruce taking the garbage out? Look, if you're not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna sit here and wait till maybe you can do something more than stare at me all night. A little help would be nice right about now. You're still here. They could have made me breakfast or something. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. I was, uh, Grabbing a coffee, and I got you one too, and, and a muffin. Oh, well, thank oh, you. Oh. Sorry about that. I just was really unstable. Wow. Are those your paintings? Yeah, um, I, I gotta go. Something just came up. What, what, what about the coffee and the muffin? I'm on a diet. Seriously? You think Mr. Middlebrooks killed the kid? Yes. Why? Well, I keep having these dreams at night, and this kid gets beaten to death by this thing, and then he gets buried in a shallow grave. Well, I saw Bruce this morning, and his belt buckle looked just like this thing. I've been painting pictures of Bruce's belt buckle the whole time. Weird. Weird? What else do you want me to say? Creepy? Scary? I think you're on to something? All right. Jeepers, Sarah. That sure is creepy and scary. You might be on to something. Maybe Mr. Middlebrooks did kill that little kid with his flea market belt buckle. You are so difficult. <laughs> what other evidence do you have besides your dreams and testimony of some little ghost kid that only talks to you? I don't know. There, there has to be something. The dumpster. What about the dumpster? I saw him carrying a big bag out there this morning. So? So? What if there's a body in it? Look, you can't just jump to conclusions, okay? I'm sure there's a logical explanation for all of it. Yeah, like what? I don't know, like a guy taking out his trash? Can we at least check? Look, I know I've set this standard of doing crazy stuff for you, but there's no way I'm going in a dumpster. Gross. How the hell do I get myself in these situations? Come on, don't give up. Uh. No, no, it wasn't a white bag. It was a black bag. That's it. That's it. Oh, it better be. That's definitely it. Oh. Whoa. I just thought of something. What if you're right? Because if you are, I'm about to open a bag with a dead body in it. Do you realize that's going to scar me for life? You're right. Forget about it. Oh, you're killing me. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Fine. 
I can't believe I'm doing this. Seriously? The head, Mr. Snyder? Well, you shouldn't be digging through the garbage, you turd. He's right, I am, I am a turd. Please don't be a dead body. Please don't be a dead body. Ah! Ah, what is oh my it? God! What is it? What, what, what? It's terrible! What is it? This shirt! <laughs> Something like this. That's it? Oh my God, Sarah. You're right. Mr. Middlebrooks is guilty. Of wearing polyester! <laughs> we should call the police right now. <laughs> You're such a jerk. I'm a what? You heard me. How am I a jerk? Because you are! Look, Missy, I just dug through people's nasty garbage for you. Through people's gross, disgusting filth. And why? Because a ghost conveniently only you can see told you there was something in there. And now you're calling me a jerk? You know what? I'm done. Good luck. So now you don't believe me? Well, thanks for nothing. Nothing? I have done nothing but help you since you moved in here. And what do I get out of it? You shoot me in the face with pepper spray, you kill my fish, use me as a taxi, a bodyguard, and a device to make your ex-husband jealous, all the while you have told me this story that has given me nightmares for weeks. Let's face it, Sarah, my life has sucked since you've moved in. Oh, ho, ho. so that's how it is, huh? Well, I thought you were different. If by different, you mean a nice guy that's trying to help out his friend instead of an abusive douchebag, then yes, I'm very different. Nice guy? All you've been wanting to do is get in my pants since I've been here. Don't flatter yourself, Missy. There is nothing in those pants worth all this heartache. Ho, ho, well, screw you. I'll find somebody else to help me. You should. You should go back to your kooky psychic friend. Well, maybe I will. Good. You can drink some more of his crappy tea and spend another $100 on his crappier ghost crap. I'm done. I already said it was done. Fine. Fine. Perfect. Tommy. Hey, Mr. Middlebrooks. Your girlfriend around? I don't have a girlfriend. Cut the crap. Is Sarah home or not? No. You smell awful. It's a long story. Oh, yeah? Does that story involve you digging through the garbage? Why would I be going through the garbage? I don't know. Why would you? You find anything interesting? Look, I know what this looks like, all right? I'm sorry. I don't know what you and your little chick you're up to, but a better end right now. I don't like people going into my business. You understand, Tommy? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sarah's voicemail. Sorry, I can't get to the phone, but please leave a message and I'll be sure to call you back. Thanks. Hey, <coughs> Sarah. Sarah, it's me, Tommy. Um, sorry, I'm choking on my soda. Um, listen, I just wanted to call and say I'm sorry first. Uh, you know, between the heat and the garbage, and I wasn't in the best of moods, all right? I'm just sorry for losing my junk. 
But anyhow, you're not gonna believe this. I just had a little run-in with our friend, Mr. Middlebrooks, and then he went back to the dumpster and pulled out a completely different bag, so... I hate to admit it, but you could be right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. Hey, he just left his apartment, all right? So I'm gonna go in and just see if I can find something. Wish me luck, all right? Call me back. Right much, Mr. Middlebrooks? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way. I gotta make a stop first. You're back again. What is it this time? Well, the ghost told me that he needed my help, just like you had said. And what was it that he wanted? Well, he said that, that I needed to find his body, and that I needed to find his killer, but that's all he says. I mean, the rest have been just mixed up messages in my dreams. Oh. I have a book here on interpreting dreams. It's on no, special. No, I don't need a book. Listen, I need to help him right now, and, and you seem to be the only one that can help me. Well, I could do a reading. It's normally a hundred dollars, but for you, you I'd do it for seventy-five. A reading? I'm sorry, but sitting in some weird room getting my palm read, it just seems so cliche. It's not your palm. It's tarot cards. I mean, they may help you a lot, they may help you a little, but uh, depends how open you are to what the cards choose to tell you. Look, all I know is that this kid needs my help. I mean, he's going to continue to live in torture until I can help him. I understand, but, you know, usually people, they, they get the kit that I sold you or I do a reading for them, and that's where it ends. Otherwise, I just think we're wasting each other's time. Come in. I'll be with you in a moment. I think a reading will really help you. Think about it. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, one usually burns incense uh, for various different reasons. Uh, we have uh, some lavender here and some sage. Hello? Things just got a lot more complicated. Complicated? Wait, what are you talking about? Crap, I have to go back into his apartment. Wait, you're in his apartment? <laughs> Tommy? Tommy? No, Sarah, no, no. Sarah, he's gone. No, please, it no. Was, it was an accident. He fell off the edge and the railing hit him. It crushed him. He was such a sweet, sweet kid. Sarah. Ma'am, you can't do that. 
You and I both know what happened to Tommy wasn't an accident. If you're not careful, the same thing's gonna happen to you. Are you threatening me? No, 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 no. I'm warning you. Get your hands off of me. You murderer! Sarah, it's me, Tommy. Uh, listen, I just wanted to call and say I'm sorry first. Uh, you know, between the heat and the garbage, and I wasn't in the best of moods, all right? I'm just sorry for losing my junk. But anyhow, you're not gonna believe this. I just had a little run-in with our friend, Mr. Middlebrooks, and then he went back to the dumpster and pulled out a completely different bag, so I hate to admit it, but you could be right. I'm gonna go in and just see if I can find something. Wish me luck, all right? Call me back. You want to break things? Fine, let's break things. I don't know what to do. I already checked the paintings. I, I didn't find anything. The art gallery? Thanks. I don't get it. I mean, I, I've looked at all these. I get nothing. Tommy died trying to help you. Can you help me out here? What are you trying to tell me?
what this is. Calm down, Sarah. Why are you in here? You know why I'm in here, you murder! Murder? I, you think I, I can explain? No, 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 Sarah. Now you play nice. Now you be a good girl because we don't want to play with smart things, do we? No, we need to talk. an accident, Sarah. I'm sorry. Now listen, I'm a good person. No, you're not. You killed Tommy! Is that what you think? You think that I killed Tommy? I had nothing to do with that! No, 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 Sarah. Now we're done playing the box cutter game. We're not gonna play like that anymore, are we? You murder! Don't say that, Sarah. Murder! Stop throwing things! Murder! I said not to throw things! You understand me? Now you're gonna listen and be a good girl. Or else. That hurts, Sarah. I hurt my head. It hurt my feelings. So, I think you need to be punished. <laughs> So sorry for hitting you and for tying you up. But you were behaving very poorly. 
I mean, even my students know better than to throw things in the classroom. And hammers. Hammers are for hitting nails. Not people's heads. You're gonna kill me now? Well. That is option A. I mean, I could kill you and cut you up into little pieces and bury you right on the property. No one would know the better. Not even the cops would know. After all, no one really cares, do they, Sarah? Terrible and horrible things happen in the world every day, and people act as if they're helpless. It's sad. I myself am not going to act helpless, Sarah. So, there's option A, or there's option B, which is for you to tell me everything that you know, and then we can just walk right out of here. Who knows, we could maybe even be friends again. After all, we, <laughs> we are neighbors, Sarah. So, what's it going to be? Is it going to be option B? Or option A? How about option C? Wow. You really are having a bad day, aren't you, sir? Oh! So, I guess it's going to be option A. You. I got rid of you long ago. Was he the one that told you to come here? Of course he was. Why did you tell her to come here? What did you tell her? I know what this is. Well, you're not gonna get away with it this time. See, it's all starting to make sense to me now. And I'm gonna put an end to it. I'm gonna break this circle once and for all, right now! You're supposed to help your kids, not hurt them! Oh. Thank you. You're welcome, Nikki. That is your name, right? <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, I miss you when you're gone. So you sold all of them? But who knew that being a victim slash hero would be so good for business? Should have thought about that ages ago. Yeah, right. <laughs> so how's the new stuff coming? It looks good. It's, it's a whole lot different than the last batch. Well, this time just be careful where you get your inspiration from. Gotcha. Do you believe they're still checking that place behind my house? Still? 
Yep. Oh, hey, there's somebody at the door. I gotta go, okay? All right. Well, congrats again. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, that should be everything you need. Okay, thank you. Oh, by the way, you were right. There's a body back there. There was? Well, were you able to identify it? Yeah, it was the body of a Nikki Davis. Nikki Davis? Well, did you know who he was? You no, know, Nikki Davis was a she. She lived in your apartment before you moved in. Wait, Nikki, Nikki was a woman? Went missing about six months ago. And according to Middlebrook's diary, he murdered her and he buried her back there. Why would he do that? I don't know. He was seeing some little boy's ghost and uh, he thought that she murdered the little boy and now he was avenging his death. But did she kill a little boy? We don't have any cases of a missing boy. But this town is so full of missing people and unexplained deaths, we cannot keep up. At least this case is closed. Thought you should know. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good day. Hey, neighbor. Hey. You all right? Yeah. You said Lennon okay? Mm -hmm. This is the last of it. So you don't need any help with any more boxes? No, perfect timing because it's the last box. Good at that. Uh, actually though, if you're offering help, do you know anything about this? Where did you get that? It was next to my car. I thought maybe you'd know if it belonged to some kid that lived around here. No. No? It's creepy, huh? Ah. I've got to go. You're leaving? Okay. Bye.